Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved on PC. Today, we are going to be talking about the brand spanking new hyena dons that were added in the latest update. What are you doing there, number two? Yeah, I'm not giving up names, that's just number one, two, four, and three. Don't ask how it happened, but we got the brand new hyena dons to talk about, and I think you guys are going to enjoy what you're hearing. So first off, when it comes to actually finding these guys, they're going to be most common around the mountain in the redwood biome, then they're kind of going to be uncommon in the rest of the redwood. A little bit north of the redwood, they're going to be rather rare, but you're going to be able to find them, so like directly, like that area between the redwood and the snow biome. <clears throat> And then also you can find them in the mountain right south of a carnivore island. So on the map, my map's not filled out for whatever reason, but like kind of in the upper right, you got carnivore island. Just south of that, that mountain is going to have these guys buy it. And also kind of like that river valley-ish area to the west of there. That's about where these guys can be found, at least on the normal map. And when it comes to taming them, they are tamed in a very unique way. Pretty much how it works is, well, in the wild, they're going to be in a pack. So you can actually have this guy over here, and we, we, can, we can pet him. You see that? So <clears throat> what happens is in the wild, if one of these hyenodons is far enough away from their leader, as you can see, there is the alpha, like the alpha of the pack, which is this guy. It's usually determined by highest level, but... These are all level 1s. So how it's going to work is you, it has to be tamed non-violently and you don't even use food on the thing. What happens is if these guys is far enough away from their leader, you can actually prompt to pet it. So you'll get the option to pet it just like that. And then he gets all happy and stuff and look at how adorable he is. Uh, so yeah, pretty much the game's going to prompt you to do that every 30 seconds, but it does have to be far enough from the re leader to do that prompt. And you have to make sure to be very quick about it, because if you aren't, it's going to drop down rather quick. Like, it does drop down pretty damn quick. They're really not too much of a threat in the wild to us, because, I mean, as you can probably see right here from their health, they're pretty low health, they're not really going to be too bad. And actually, the pack, there's, uh, there's a wild pack over here that I could show you guys. Uh, there's... The wild packs usually just run away. They don't want anything to do with you. They're just like, ew, this guy smells. And then they kind of just flee, flee quickly. There was one over here that kind of started running off this way. Also, I think night or nighttime is starting to come in soon. Uh, they, they were around here. They just, they just kept on fleeing, man. They just kept on fleeing. So, yeah, usually they won't really do anything like that. So, I'd say pretty much a really good strategy of doing it is... Just picking them up, they're pretty small, so you can pick them up with a bird and just absolutely haul ass, bring them somewhere, maybe even a cage, something like that. And then just, you pet them till they're tamed, and you're yours. Look at that. So usually when you find them in the wild, uh, they're gonna be like in packs of three or eight, and as you can see, they are actually pack animals, so they do get that boost where they get stronger as the pack increases here. You can see there's plus three because there's three more hyena dons, and I think once they hit four people in the pack or something like that, It'll designate one of them as the alpha, and I'm guessing just like how all the other pack animals work, the alpha is by far going to be the strongest. Now, there's also a saddle that you can craft up for this thing. It's going to be over here in the engrams. It's actually going to be surprisingly low level and surprisingly very freaking useful. So not this is going to be a perfect low level tame because you don't need any type of special food for it. You just got to pet it. The saddle's level 19, and here you can see equipped behind a Donald with this to give it increased meat carrying and preservation capability. I, I don't even think you need to do this at a workbench. It doesn't say you need to, but it's going to take you 20 metal ingots, 155 fiber, and 290 hide. Now, once you got that jazz knocked out, you should be able to have that meat pack there. So I'm going to throw it on the alpha. Bada bing, bada boom. And if I could, ooh, we got to get some meat, don't we? Yeah, we do. Now, I got a little meat for you guys, and as you can see here, check it out. So, the prime meat's gonna spoil in two minutes. Throw it in there. Boom! 18 minutes. This thing is like a mobile fridge, and it is going to, by far, be a very useful tame, regardless of what level you are. Unless you're at the point where you have, like, a freaking platform saddle Quetzal, or just really any- Also, I got Mega Rabies. Don't ask. I- I don't even know how I got this Mega Rabies. I was, like, running by my Megalania, and I just caught it. But, like I was saying, this is gonna be really useful until you pretty much get to the point where you can have, like, a fridge on the back of a Quetzal. 
or something. This thing is gonna by far be amazing as a tame until that happens. And then, of course, you can get them in a pack. And they do have another special ability, which I'm going to attempt to demonstrate. But in the meantime, I'm gonna actually try to show you guys what a high-level Hyenodon is gonna look like as well. So here we got what pretty much is a perfect tame Hyenodon, level 150, gets all its bonus levels. We hop into it. Oh, and as you can see, he's become the new alpha. He's taken over this pack. <laughs> Also, I don't know why. I, it might just take these guys a sec to catch up. But you can see he's got the plus four. Those guys still have the plus three. I don't know why, but I'm sure that'll fix itself. So if we go into this guy's stats, this is pretty much the highest you can get it in like a normal game. A thousand health, thousand stamina, 300 melee damage. Really, he's not going to like, he's not blowing anything away with this, you know? But, why don't we go and try to get this guy some... Uh, so just try to demonstrate what the level ups look like. If we go up in health, that goes up by a tiny 9, which is like 5%, which isn't that bad, but their health just starts out so low, it's like worthless. Stamina goes up by like 26 for this level 1. Uh, this guy, his weight goes up by like a solid 7. I'm, I'm guessing with these guys, you probably want to up the weight, unless you really want to make just a rabid pack of these guys. And there is definitely use for them to be in a pack. So I'm gonna see if I could actually do a little bit of damage to one of these. And I think I did it, so if we tell them to consume it, they heal a lot when it comes to eating. I don't know if it's supposed to be like this or if they literally have to attack a dead body, but maybe we'll try to summon something a little bit more powerful and I'm gonna show you guys just what I mean. But anyways, there, we did like a solid 30 damage. Tell them to consume that. Goes up all the way, so I don't know. I does meat do that normally? Maybe. I'm really not sure. Uh, <laughs> but either if you eat it that way, I know for sure they can eat meat off dead people. All right, so we got a Megalania. Let's see how this goes. How could this possibly go? Come on, Hyena Dons. Let's do some damage. Let's see them battle it out. You can see our you Tyrannus is actually helping out with this. But okay, well he's he's just gonna run away. But <laughs> the Hyena Dons are hot on the heels. They're trying to chase. Oh, they're actually giving like some of the best chase here. And I want to show you guys that they do harvest that meat. And it does look like they took too much damage, but you can see some of the Hyenodons definitely got hit by that Megalania. And they're already all the way up to full health. The bunch of them. None of them are injured right now. So you can definitely see that they are somehow managing to heal themselves. And I'm telling you guys here that meat they kind of like automatically eat it to heal because they like they like to stay at that like full health and it's just kind of like in the dossier too they talk about how they eat uh they kind of like scavenge meat off their foes and devour it for that food but i think that about wraps it up for what they do because unfortunately they aren't rideable the saddle that you craft them is a hundred percent see i i just got mega rabies for running by my goddamn megalania i don't i don't know but, as you can see here, uh, really, they're gonna be just most useful as a little utility dino, unless you do make that giant pack of high-level hyena dons and freaking cause terror, which would, I don't know, I could totally see, like, you on, like, a really fast terror bird with your gang of hyena dons behind just fetching people that... That could be fun, but again, I feel like most people are going to utilize these for the insanely useful saddle that they have. Because really, until you get, like, a fridge on, like... A platform saddle I think this is gonna be by far what you're gonna do if you do want to preserve it because prime meat for like 18 minutes that's pretty damn good if you ask me but uh, and also it gives them a solid 25 armor which for their low health definitely is going to be pretty nice uh, is this a clone dodo or why is it why is it got that weird face thing is, is that the you tyrannosaur I actually don't know what's going on with the dodo's face did you catch mega rabies maybe <laughs> But uh, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for me. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Let me know in the comment section what you are going to do if you're going to go out of your way to tame the Hyena Don and what you're going to use it for. If you're going to try to make a pack for it to try to attack people or if you're going to utilize it for its freaking, freaking awesome saddle that it can provide you for relatively cheap. I want to hear comment section down below. If you guys like the video, make sure that like button and let me know in the comments or mainly i mean probably just through the like button and uh, make sure you're subscribed we're gonna continue covering the updates and as soon as the update is over oh mama i don't know how the hell i got up there as soon as the update is over we'll return to our regularly scheduled programming and when the update hits ps4 we will actually try to do all this stuff in our ps4 series but uh it's gonna wrap it up for me thank you guys a whole ton for watching have yourselves a fan for fantastic day and i'll talk to you in the next one
See ya. And before the video ends, they just want to let you guys know you should totally come join the Discord. Uh, people chill there. I know I kind of plug that sometimes, so that'll be linked in the description. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitch. I think I'm going to be going live tomorrow for Sub Sunday. So going to be trying to play some games with the Twitch subs. So if you want to hop in, I think that'll be super fun. I just always forget to mention it to you guys. So I thought this would be a good time, especially if you stuck around all the way through the video. I'm guessing you kind of maybe care a little bit about me. <laughs> Getting emotional. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I just want to plug those really quick. And uh, thank you guys for hopefully sticking through. Good job tanking it. But uh, stay awesome. Have an awesome day. And I'll talk to you soon.